a lot of close losses for this team. How do you get over that hump and start winning some of these games? Uh, continue to work. It's, it's, there's no secret to success. You, you put in the work, um, put in the repetitions, uh, and our guys are doing that. We'll, we'll start to win some of these. What bothered you the most about last night? Maybe the offensive rebounds for Minnesota? Well, no, they're, they're a big team. We know that they, they, that's what they do. They bully other teams around. Um, and, you know, they, you got to give them credit for that. Uh, it bothered me at the start of the game to me. Even watching the tape, we, you know, giving up 36 points in the first quarter. Uh, we keep preaching defense. We keep talking about defense. Um, but we didn't do a good job of uh, putting out the type of effort you need to, to to play good defense. In the first, after that, we did a nice job uh, defensively of you know keeping their field goal percentage down, being in our coverages. The only thing we didn't do is keep them off the foul line. But uh, the the effort to start, uh, the defensive effort to start has to be better. Luke, just given the personnel you have, can this team hold its own on the glass against a big team like that? It, well, it, it can. It just needs all five guys to do it every time because that is, I mean, that's as big of a team as you're going to find. And, you know, obviously, um, you know, we have smaller lineups. Uh, we try to play faster. So, you know, it's kind of what style is going to win out. And I thought that they they won that battle. But, yeah, we can, we can compete with them on the glass. We just need all five every time. stressing to him. Oh yeah, we show all those in the in the film edit, um, and it you know it's I think they guys enjoy obviously the fast break part of the game, and we're we're good at that. So uh, it's tempting to get out there and and lead the the fast break, but it's again that that's what one of the things that hurts us on the defensive glass. When a shot goes up, we can't we can't start running. We got to get back into the paint, you know, get the ball and then run from there. So do you not want? Leaking out. If you see someone leaking out, that's a mistake. I think LeBron said that uh, one of the frustrations that guys are making the same mistakes over and over again. What do you see as those mistakes? The main, the main ones are middle penetration. We're giving up our, you know, our middle penetration, uh, rebounding, uh, and fouling. You know, those are our three. We're, we're playing well enough everywhere else offensively. We're scoring enough to win these games, but those three things uh, have consistently hurt us in this. Uh, early part of the season. Yeah, um, that, yeah, but that's more of, you know, we, that's kind of who we are as a team. And now when crunch time comes, that's, we got to, you know, make sure we're getting good shots. We got to make sure we're executing. Um, but to me, it's more about, uh, you know, it's more about those other things throughout the game as opposed to just the, the last couple minutes uh, of, of, of the, you know, execution part of it. Last time we used the word stand engaged. How did you guys do that with him? Yeah, it's up to everybody. That's what being a team is about. Uh, it's personal responsibility from each player to... Uh, bring what they what they uh, bring to the table, uh, and then it's our responsibility as a coaching staff to push them and put them in places to succeed. Different techniques, and we try them. We try them all, whether it's. Uh, you know, being hard on him, encouraging him, running more plays for him. Um, but it's, you know, it's we, we, we see it. It's just, you know, something where, you know, he's a young point guard and we're, we're going to continue to monitor and continue to work on with him. When you, when you think about the end of, you know, this team defensively or where you're trying to get to, what does that look like? What, you know, Top end as far as what? Like, like, the ideal version of what you guys are defensively, how good you think you can be defensively. Well, we have a goal to be a top 10 defensive team, which looks like a far, far, far away goal right now. But, uh, you know, the Denver game, we put up a nice defensive number. Uh, San Antonio, we put up a decent uh, defensive number. And, you know, I haven't looked what it was in the three quarters. Uh, take the first quarter out, I'm assuming our, our Minnesota game was a good defensive game. So it's there. Uh, we just need to do it uh, 
we got to do you know longer stretches and more consistently. Is that going to be based? Do you think? More It's got to be both with with our team and who we are. You know, we got a mix of young guys and vets, uh, and there's you know, there's as part of growing a new team is like learning strengths and weaknesses of each other. So part of it is yeah, we have to get better individually uh, guarding our man, but then it's also understanding where we might be getting beat and anticipate that and be be there to help guys out. But that comes with time. You guys, too. players and. Yeah, absolutely. Do you keep the same starters? Are you happy with them? Um. And yeah, we'll, we'll, I don't know, we'll, we'll get, we'll evaluate that later. With, Last question, please. With Brandon starting at the two. Mm -hmm. how, how much foot speed do you think he's surrendering in terms of his matchups going up against guards? Uh, I, I think he's fine. He's got the length, uh, the foot. We were, we ran him at point guard last year for half the season, and it, we had great success with it. So. Uh, we're confident Brandon can he can guard. He was doing fine last night. He got a couple, he got an offensive foul and he got a foul on uh, trying to box out Towns. So I mean that's where he got in foul trouble. It wasn't guarding the ball. Now in the second half he got a couple for reaching, but uh, again I don't think that was that wasn't foot speed. That was trying to fight around screens, uh, you know more than anything else. Can I just ask you about opponents? Luka Doncic, how to stop him? Uh, with the team defense, you know, he's a very good playmaker. Uh, he gets in the heart of the defense and, you know, he's got great vision out there. So we got to make sure that we keep ball pressure on him and that our, our other, uh, the shell defense is built well around him.